Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sharp Tongue Podcast. This is your Sharp Tongue Podcast host, Jesse May Palu. So, so happy to have you back. I hope you're happy to have my nasal Syracuse accent in your ear again this week. I would like to give a shout out to our supply, our Hakuna suppliers for my stash boxes, my stash jars, and my grinders, and my rolling trays. Amazing, amazing sponsorship we've had with them. They've been a really cool company to work with, not just because of their charity endeavors, but just because their uh, creative abilities have really have really sprung a new a new Jesse May fan, the smoker, the weed smoker. I mean, you don't have to necessarily put weed in these jars or on the on the trays. You could put your jewelry. You could put cotton balls in the jars as well. Uh, you go to hakunasupply.com forward slash Jesse May. We've got stash boxes, jars with my face on a blunt. We've got rolling trays. We've got grinders. And if you use code Jesse May CBD, you get 15% off your entire purchase. And a portion of what you buy goes towards the World Wildlife Foundation, a, a foundation in Southern California that helps homeless veterans get their selves back on their feet. And also from my side, any sort of tickets that you guys purchase to see me live, merchandise, anything that has to do with me, a portion of what I make will uh, in perpetuity go towards <laughs> Alzheimer's awareness. Uh, I get shout out to the prophet because I just learned that word because of that show. So uh, Alzheimer's Association and I are working together. So anything you support on my end, you are also giving back to charity. You're such a good person. I'm in bunny ears. It's been a long weekend. What's up, everybody? I'm excited to bring in our guest who's never been on the podcast before. We have been talking for the past 10 minutes and all of it is gold. Let's see if we can recreate that magic. Mr. Dustin Ibarra. Hello. <laughs> did I say it right? <laughs> you did, yeah. I did. Because okay. you did the, the rolling of the R's. That's you, important, the right? The extra Latina. Thing what, are you Latino? I am, what yeah. What kind? Uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm. Uh, my my dad's Mexican and uh, my mom is uh, like redneck white lady. Really? Yeah. But how the, do they meet? Um. Oh shoot. How? Do, I don't even know. <laughs> you don't know how your parents met? Uh, no. I. I shoot. Are they still I, together? No. So okay. that yeah, my yeah. dad took off as a kid. So yeah, she didn't yeah. do the whole. Here's how I met your deadbeat father. <laughs> How old were you when he bounced? Oh my god. We're getting gosh. into it early. We're getting we into are, it early, dude. I think I was like. <laughs> 11 or 12. No, I was like, yeah, probably like 10 or something like that. This is sad. Wow. Oh, you want to hear? This is. Tell, let's start off sad. Dude, I remember <laughs> last time I was supposed to meet this fool was at a Burger King in San Antonio. <laughs> and my mom took me there and dropped me off and he never showed up. Was that like the first time you were supposed to see him after he bounced? After, yeah, after he bounced. It was like the last like date. Asshole. I, I know, right? How old were you? Oh, I was a little kid, like 10 or 11 or something. I was like, I was a youngster, man. She left you. She'd even just wait in the parking lot and like scope it out through she the She chilled, window? yeah. Okay, I was going to say, damn, your mom just was like, good luck. Let's nah, see if this guy shows up she again. Didn't, she didn't have much faith in him, oh, either, so she wow. chilled out. But that's an important lesson, I feel, as a kid, you know? Yeah. To know that you can like get through that. Yeah, and I did, you know, and it's like one of those things, like, yeah, it happens, It's a recipe you know? that makes you a comedian. It is, and you meet other comedians, they're like, oh, yeah, my dad's, dead. everyone's got, like, a dad everyone. story, like, everyone has some kind of, like, messed up family, like, thing in their lives that yeah. happened early or something. Or they, like, one-up your dad's story. Yes! Yeah, you know, like, okay, thank you very much, like, oh, your dad left? Well, yeah, well, mine locked me in the closet for four years and, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, fed me whole milk. It's like, okay, I mean, I thanks, guess I, had I, it guess. Pretty good. I guess I had it good with no dad. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we were um, talking about... F trying to figure out where the f we were yes. traveling because you asked me where I just came back from and I it yeah. took me like five minutes to answer your you question. Spaced, you I like, spaced uh, out. You travel a lot though. I try to. I don't. I haven't traveled lately. Yeah. I always try to stay in town for pilot season. That's smart because you do work a lot. Like your IMB IMBD is thick. Thanks, but man, I didn't get anything <laughs> these past. I know. <laughs> I was okay. like, damn, I could have been on the road. That's okay. I mean, it's a it's a constant struggle, man. Just it is trying to like, I don't know, find the energy and momentum and confidence to keep going yeah. after all of the rejection. Well, totally, and because you never know, you know, because it's one of those things like things can change so quick out so here. So you know? quick, like for you, what was one of the first times getting a job where you like? Oh, damn, I'm in the industry now. Oh, dang. When I first moved to New York, I went on a commercial audition. The first thing I went on, and I got it. And I remember like, damn, I'm in, man. <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah. it. It's the best, dude. What was it? Do you remember? It was like a Comcast commercial. Yeah. I never saw it, but I went to New York with like no money, and that like paid for like... Uh, 
everybody. Like, yeah. yeah, I was such a poor kid. Oh my god, I was so good <laughs> at like saving money. Don't you kind of miss that a little bit? Yes, I like I, that man, grind, dude. And I spend money like crazy oh. now, and I miss. I remember like, dude, you used to make the stretch so long. Yeah. How are you like doing this? Now you're bro? dropping like I dropped like seventy five dollars on Uber Eats in Rhode Island. Oh my god, yes. I they, was like, what if, for like. An, an omelet for like a late night omelet in a in a fruit salad. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I like how you get the fruit there so too. Much. That's like what the fuck. I mean, that's insane. It's it, it is a, it's an interesting thing where you're trying to like make your money stretch. You forget like having that struggle. Yeah, keeps you. You know, it keeps you a little bit more economical. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah, I remember like I still now I'll look at like the dollar menu and be like, oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might not get it, but I'd be mean, like, man, if I only had five bucks, I could eat like a king at this that, point. That man, that's like my gambling. Like, I love coupons. I don't know if oh, it's like God, an old coupons lady are thing. Coupons great. No, Aren't they yeah. Fun? You know what? Now too is the apps. You got to get the app. Oh yeah, for like each store. Yes, it's not embarrassing where you have to like have it. Here's this crumbled sheet of paper, this little piece of paper I cut out. You can when just show like, your phone. You're busting out all your coupons. Uh, here's oh this my one God. and this one. And someone did that at the grocery store the other day. And I want to be like, man, there's an app. Come on, that man. That was probably yeah. me. I still cut <laughs> yeah. coupons. Yo, Bevmo. Do you know Bevmo? Oh, do they I have some good wine. deals? Yes, they have some good deals. They have these deals where you buy one bottle uh -huh. and you get one for five cents. Oh, that's great. I mean, what the F? How are you not going to do that? Those a little red wine. Little, those are fun little deals. Because they know they could deal. say buy one, get one free, but they're like, it's a penny. Yeah. Is and you're like, like oh, a nickel. Like, oh, I'm going to so go cool. buy 100 bottles of red wine. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. I stock up and I leave them there and I just, you know. Oh, really? I'm don't, ready to go. I don't leave them there. I'm like, <laughs> oh, we're going to have a party tonight, man. Look at all this red wine. <laughs> I love it. You said that you looked like the fat. Jason Momoa. I did. Fat You're Aquaman. You're not Fat Aquaman. That's one thing. That, that just pop, <laughs> It's either before that it was like Jack Black and then I get Felipe Esparza. Yeah, that's what I lot. said because literally his, his picture is yeah. right over your shoulder. We did a show. We sold a show, but it never got picked up. We were supposed to be brothers. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Yeah. That would have been great. Both of you can act and you're funny. Like, who wouldn't buy that? It would be awesome. Just make it anyways. I, we should. Just we should. shoot it. It's someone else. It's like it's in the Hollywood system oh, now. Oh, God. So, so the, the hierarchy and the whole logistics of how stuff works out here. People are just like, oh, just man. go. Why don't you just go do this? It's like. You don't know how many loops you got to jump through Dude, yeah. to like just get a project to go. Well, yeah. And that thing we were working on for like like six months before it happened and just getting together and then um, like developing it out, meeting yeah. and all that. And, and that takes time. It did. Yeah. yeah. And um, then uh, we ended up, then we went out to all the pitches and everything. And then like some people like like Fox and ABC liked it. You know? Yeah. So, but then we went with ABC. And then, like, nothing happened. Oh, <laughs> like, it's so frustrating. It is, It yeah. really is. It's such a grueling process. It is, but it's a, It's at least, like, I've always, you know, the business, it's like you fail so much. It's all the it, time. But each fail gets a little bit better. Like, yeah. oh, that was a good fail. Like, and I you failed learn. at selling a show. That's pretty yeah. cool, you know? I think that is pretty cool. I mean, you're putting yourself out there, and you're, and you're like, creating something and learning how to make it be, you know, sold in a room. Because essentially, yes, if you win yeah. the room, you can... That's your next step into like making the show. Totally. That's what was weird. It felt like very like uh, like sales, like a car sales. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, well, okay, here's what you need, guys. Okay, so <laughs> Latinos are like huge right now. So Got to get in the, that mode. Latinos and are everything. I don't think we said that. That would have been a weird fish. Listen, you guys heard of Latinos, Fox, right? We've got a couple for you. <laughs> I'm slouching. Oh, yeah, man. I can't I, I believe. Have, see, I got, look what I got Show us what you have on. Check it out. You I, got one of those back things. I got What's a it back called? support. I believe it's a bra. No, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like this thing I bought on Amazon. Because I was like, I remember last time I was here, I did a podcast, and I remember the cameras were set up, and I would look at myself. I'm like, dude, you got to like stand up straight or something, man. So I got this like thing. You just. It does kinda, it really help your posture? It does. It does. And it's like one of those. It. You know those things that detectives have where they put the gun in? The, the gun holster. That's what it feels like. It looks like it. It, it totally, yeah. You I'll look like a forgetful detective. You're like, where are my guns? Yeah, Shit. right. <laughs> yeah, <it's> a, <laughs> the forgetful detective. I, that's the next show I'm pitching. That's going to be good. <laughs> the forgetful detective. What was like, you've done so many different shows and movies. What was what was the most frustrating experience? Do you have like- The most frustrating yeah, experience? Like um, on any show- I'm trying to think. I've had oh oh, this is a good <laughs> one now. 
Man. Now I'm like worried about sitting straight. I know, like, right? Oh, right. Well, what it does with me is I, it basically just pulls your arms back. I don't know if it helps with posture. But so it am I supposed to be like, am I supposed to be like this or this? Do you want to wear it? I can take it. <laughs> I, w I really kind of want one because I feel like I think with your, it moves like, back, your shoulders. Yeah. It basically goes from a B cup to a C cup. I feel like I need one of those. I know, but it works on me too, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm trying to flaunt, pick up a dude. Ah, what's up? I think it really just, it brings your shoulders back and it, it makes does. everything better. Yeah. It, it looks like I'm trying to show my boobs off, but I'm just trying to like sit straight. I was like looking even more into like just body stuff like that. You could like, there's, there's like spanks for men to for what? just to like, to like keep everything in. And I was like, damn, you could do that. But if someone found out, you'd be done, buddy. Like if one of your Spanx friends for found a out. Dude. Totally. Yeah. No, you're fine. You don't need all that. I know you don't need it, but it's like it's a Hollywood. You want to look good. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine you're in the room trying to sell a show and you're you go like this and your <laughs> and your spanks pop out? <laughs> Like your whole spank is exposed. Oh my god, that would be <laughs> devastating. Yeah, I don't know. I still get like I'm a comic, but I get so embarrassed, man. Like just getting made fun of and stuff. Like, I know oh. we're we're sensitive creatures. Oh man, I'm like overly sensitive. That's okay. I can tell too, cause like I I I don't riff good. Like it, I look at like roast battle or something, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I would never. I would be so devastated. It's if that, it's like, a that's definitely tough, and even like judging. Have you judged it? No, it I feels stay away terrible. from it, man. I stay away because I'm just like I don't even <laughs> want to get caught up and look at this guy. Like, don't look at me. <laughs> Stop. It does feel. I don't have that. Like, I'm not naturally inclined to make fun of other people. Yeah, besides it's hard. like my sisters. I'm not naturally inclined to make fun of just like yeah. anybody. Like I can't, I, no, man, I can't even make fun of my brother. He's all sensitive and shit too. Yeah, yeah. it's just general people in general. Yeah. I feel are easier to make fun of idiosyncrasies and like societal stuff. But like uh -huh. a particular person, I don't. It just doesn't feel it's right tough. for I some reason. Hurt their feelings. They're gonna cry later. <laughs> I made someone cry because we have probably been bullied ourselves as children. Oh, totally. So sensitive. Without a doubt. Yeah. Even like yeah. <laughs> I Wait, did you think, tell me about your worst experience? Or did we just oh, talk about no, your we back did. bra? Sorry, we did talk about my back bra. Um, no, I was I did a show with Fox. We did like seven episodes. And it was the first, uh, it was on my first big like on a TV show type thing. And it had, it was Jason Ritter and Alexis Bledel and Carrie Kenny, Michael Ian Black, like a bunch of wow, famous Wow, good people. cast, yeah. Really good cast. And we went and did it and uh, filmed in New York, which was insane. You know, I was like out there. Location and, uh, shoot. I mean. Yeah. And then uh, up, we did the upfronts and we got picked up and we're like, oh, my God. I was at upfronts and it was crazy. Like Terry Bradshaw was there and like. just Tell people about upfronts if they don't upfronts know what Upfronts is. is like oh, where all the uh, people, all the TV, uh, everyone goes, all the networks uh, sell their stuff to the advertisers. And they basically give them kind of a preview for uh, here's what we got on slate this yeah, season. Yeah, like all this. the stars from the shows will. Yeah, go all the stars and... come out and everything, and like, yeah, it was like, oh my gosh, it was insane. But then uh, we did like seven episodes, and then <laughs> it never came out. Oh, I remember on the God. seventh, yeah, after the seventh episode, they were like, we're gonna take a little bit of a hiatus because we're supposed to do like thirteen episodes. I'm like, all right, it's cool. You You're know? like, hiatus. We haven't even like started yet. Yeah. We're only seven deep and you already want to hiatus? And, that was t and then, yeah, but we got, but they kept on saying like, oh, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. And then it just got shelved. Ugh. It came out like a year ago. On what? Crackle. Crackle. I and mean, no one, like, I don't think anyone I remember saw it. Is Crackle still cracking? Cr I don't know if it was cracking. Uh, I. It is out there. It's What's not, it called? Crackle. The show's called the, Crackle. No, the or show the is Us and Them. Us and I have heard of that. It was a. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think anyone saw it. Really? It's out there though. Maybe yeah. I just maybe I just remember from cyber stalking you, seeing a bunch of stuff about Us and Them. Probably. Yeah, yeah I put it out there. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, it's <laughs> oh coming. God. Trust me. You can even make this. Is how Hollywood is so heartbreaking. You can work on a show, to film it, get all the episodes done, go to the advertising, selling. Yeah. Uh, you know that whole experience and then they're like we're never putting it out no it was like so crazy, that's like man. that's like literally being pregnant that it's that's in a creative abortion <laughs> I don't know. that's what it is it's like you have this baby growing in you and then it's like well he's never it's never gonna happen it is tough. sorry we just gotta lay it to rest you know what it was based off of that uh it was based off james corden had a show in uh england called gavin and stacy yeah 
And I was supposed to like play his part, so that was really interesting. That's interesting. You were yeah. like the the James Corden equivalent. Yeah, American <laughs> James what? Corden. Is that that like cracked me up? If I ever get on that show, I gotta tell that. Even, well, he knew he was a producer, or something, but I never That's met him. That's wild. Ever. Did you grow up here in the states, or did you grow yeah. up in Mexico? No, no, I grew up in uh, San Antonio. And what was that like? Did you? It was cool. I like South Texas. It was. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot. I had a few stepdads. I got to travel. <laughs> you know. Traveled around a bit. Mom moved around, chasing yes. dudes a little. Dude, my mom moved, man. <laughs> and then I moved without her sometimes. I lived with my brother in like East Texas for a while, and uh, my aunt in Dallas. Do you have one sibling? I got an older brother and a younger brother. Wow. And we're From all like seven years apart. Different Dif dads? Different dads. Yeah, yeah. that's wild, man. That's that a, is that's pretty a wild. potpourri of relations right there. That I is. have a similar situation as well. You got a lot of halves? Yeah, like my dad had two kids with his first wife, and then my mom married the neighbor's dad and he had two daughters oh really so we had a whole cornucopia of oh, wow just halves and steps and what the fuck's in the house they wanted you guys <laughs> to be family <laughs> yeah. yeah family really is just what you make it it's just an idea it I really mean, is especially yeah. in our generation where you know nannies are fucking husbands and everything gets oh yeah crossed. totally you know there's so much crossbreeding going on someone could tell me anything and be like oh that's cool yeah that's, you're yeah, like I, yeah. i'm not shook by that at all that's my uncle sister <laughs> oh okay hey <laughs> nice to meet sister. you nice to meet you uncle sister <laughs> what like growing up did you have exposure like what kind of exposure to comedy was um, it at a young age or did it i guess i don't know my my grandma would play a lot this isn't comedy but she was a musician she uh played for bob wills and she was like a big western swing uh bass player lady that's badass it was so your grandma cool. was a bass player yeah she still does too. that's so cool yeah, she had a stroke recently so she's oh, not I'm doing sorry. as many shows but she's like she's out there and stuff and uh she's still playing even though she had a stroke yeah yeah wow how old is she she's cool yeah she's like 80 something shout out know, to yeah. grandma what's her name louise rowe Louise Rowe, she's a badass. Yeah. Shout out. Google her. <laughs> <laughs> is she Googleable? Yeah, she's Googleable. Wow. Yeah. She won a bunch of awards and stuff, but I remember growing up, like seeing she was always on stage and stuff. And I don't know, my my family is kind of they're all kind of like entertainers, yeah. I guess, like wanting to be. But like I was the first like comic. What did other were there other types of entertainers? Were there like magicians or mimes in your family? I heard that I had an uncle that would do. This is kind of <laughs> crazy, but on my mom's side, this. <laughs> these uncles that would do like medicine shows which what? apparently were like pretty racist back in the day they would do like blackface or something what yeah is that what a medicine show is when they make when they do blackface i guess so. well it would the medicine show i think that was like the comedy show or right like that's what they called it but then uh they like my grandma told me one time oh yeah they would do blackface they would put their faces i'm like oh i don't know, <laughs> I don't know were that they mexican or white they were white they were on the white whoa side. yeah they were on the white side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty wild. But you know, like everything is so, is so much about perspective and like what's relative to the moment. So like yeah, they're here probably now, thinking. it sounds terrible. Yeah. But like then it was a part of what was going on. Like Yeah, everyone was doing it. Everybody, I guess. yeah, everyone's <laughs> Everyone was doing the blackface, so everyone, I guess it was Can him. you imagine, remember when Julie, do you remember Juliana Huff when she dressed as Orange is the New Black for Halloween and she had blackface and then she got so much. Oh, I think so. I don't know if I remember her. There's that. like, that's happened to like seven people I so know. far this past year. It's like, why, are, why do you want to try and do that? What are you? I don't know. Are you just trying to get your name in the. Or in just, the or are they not thinking? I, like, I don't know. Do they think it's funny? Or do they think like, is this going to, because someone's definitely going to say something. You can't Someone's going, that, and man. it's not going to be good. Yeah. No no one's going to go, oh, hey, Jesse May did blackface. It was hilarious. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not going to get more bookings from that. Yeah. I'm not going to like. Maybe more in the South. I don't know. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. You're so hot in Florida right now, <laughs> Jesse May. Pensacola is in high demand. Yeah. No, yeah, that's definitely like something that doesn't fly. Some housewife just got in trouble with that uh, on yes. one of the real housewife shows. Those, I mean, those women. Those women are wild. I watch those shows, man. They're addictive. I used to not... But my girlfriend, she's like always watching like Vanderpump Rules or something. It's kind of in the background. So I'm like, oh, what's going on? Like I That's can't like not pay it. attention. Like how is she? Are you serious? Yep. You're drunk again, Ariana. <laughs> Lala. Come on, man. Girlfriends are the gateway drug to housewives. <laughs> they are. Oh, my God. You are yeah. like if you have a girlfriend as yeah. a dude, you are watching a housewife show. And oh, you're yeah. going to get addicted into the drama. They're on. That's her Game of Thrones, I guess. You know? <laughs> do you watch a Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I'm, I'm like almost caught up. I literally watched every single episode from the beginning 
And I'm not even, I haven't even caught up to the new season yet. I've been avoiding oh, any so spoiler fun. alerts. Have you watched the new season? Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched the new season. <gasps> I just finished the episode where, um, what's her name, rides the dragon, Queen of Dragons. Uh, what's uh, her? Yeah. Uh, da da Daenerys. Daenerys. Daenerys gets on the dragon. Yeah. I was going to call her Daenerys. Daenerys. No, I, I was <laughs> like, at, when watching it, I'll have to Google, like, who is this fool they keep talking about? <laughs> Amelia Who's Clark. Is, I know her real name. Amelia Clark hops on that dragon. Yeah. She's That's, got the crazy eyebrows. She's, she's got, got great, great bushy brows, yeah, man. Yeah. I just want to brush them. Yeah, Every, like you've favorite. got good brows too. I have Thank this thing you. where I just want to like, I just want to brush them and brush mold them the a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you've got really good brows. I do have. That's one thing. I'll take that cut. That's one thing. I know I got this yeah. section to this section. Good. A oh, beautiful eyes. <laughs> yeah. things working for you. Are you kidding me? I like it. I like this area. <laughs> Your eyebrow control. You used to do right. that in the in the mirror as a kid. Oh yeah, totally. I would always do the like <laughs> just trying to. It's, you do have a tough. Jack Black thing when you do the brow. I do. Check it if I do. Yeah, do it. Go ahead. No, 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 man. That's very <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. I always used to um, watch like Jim Carrey when I was a kid and mm. try and do, you know, all those crazy faces that Jim Carrey would do. Like, remember yeah. Fire Marshal Bill? Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. That, like, in Living Color was so influential to me as a kid. And Living, me too. It was so great. It was so great. The but shit they would do. It totally would not go on it now. It wouldn't fly, man. That's like blackface now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> handyman? Are you Yo, serious? Yo, Handyman. That, they were making fun of people yeah. with special needs. Oh, he was doing the voice and everything. The voice and the... He the, did the voice. I the totally hands. forgot. In the yeah, the hands. That became a big thing, too. Everyone was doing. That's how you know. Oh, remember the dude with Duke? The dog that was dead? Oh, it was no. Jamie Foxx. He's like, come on, Duke. And he'd like drag the dog and it was all taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> Homie the clown. Like so many inappropriate oh, sketches. Yeah. But that show was like, that show was like the Black Mirror. It was like SNL and Black Mirror and comedy had a baby. Because I yeah. feel like Saturday Night Live was a little bit more, not highbrow, but like. I feel like it is a little like they try to make it more like, uh, we're here to talk. We're not going you know, to do that. Like, we don't uh, do the blue humor. Yeah. It was more like, you know. Reflecting yeah. what was going on in society, and then in Living Color was like, this is what's really, yes. this is what's going on in the street. <laughs> no, that was like so funny. Oh my god, I love that show. What other shows do you remember as a kid? Remember TGI Friday? Oh my god, step, step by, by step, step. <laughs> <laughs> day by day. I love that show, Family Matters. Family Matters is I mean, a great one. Yeah, TGIF, man. Full House. Everyone knows I love the Stamos. I like whenever ABC went to like Disney World. Yeah. You know how they would do that? Yeah, like, they would. Like, the, all the shows would go to Disney yes. World. Yep, and they'd film them there. I remember this show I was on last time was an ABC show, and yeah. we were all like, oh, we can't wait till that Disney World <laughs> episode. <laughs> you know, because they'll just end up, they could be a show about whatever, but it's like, well, we got to go to Disney World next week. Like, yeah, they're like, we don't this know. This is Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> We're going to Disney World. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, someone got trapped. Is that it. another show you got addicted to because of your no. girlfriend? No, I didn't. I don't mess around with Grey's, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Oh, it's it's our generation's General Hospital. It's really? So is good. It? Yeah, I don't. I, I feel like it's one of those things. It's like Game of Thrones for me. Like, oh, that's too far it's, in. It's man. too deep. Like even yeah. Game of Thrones is too deep. But like, you you were talking about Disney World. Have you been to Disney World? Yeah. I went there once when I was like twenty one, and you know you still get into the whole mindset of being a child because oh, it totally, is it's like yeah. a time warp you know you're, you're brought back to like yeah. being five and so like i saw mickey mouse and i got all excited and like i shook mickey mouse's hand or he shook my hand rather and he fingered my palm what he, that's kind of crazy he went like like give me your hand he went oh isn't whoa. that creepy yeah that's not mickey. a normal handshake i don't think he does that to everyone no he's not doing that to the children and if he is like Stranger oh. danger. Or maybe he was trying to like hook. Like hey, maybe, maybe he was trying. He was definitely like the tossing me the vibes, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, Minnie, you need to get your man. Whoa! Because like Mickey is tossing me all the vibes. Ooh, creepy. And then he I probably read, does that because it's like, uh, how's anyone gonna catch it? You know, like oh, you freak. It's oh, I'm so just he's like, oh, I'm just Mickey. Yeah. Like he's not gonna admit that he fingered your palm. No way. But then I read somewhere that like one of the priests, one of these Catholic priests, you know how mm -hmm. they relocate him after some scandal goes on where people start to come out and say that they're touching their kids. Yeah, like we got to get this move guy them. Out of, Yeah. There was a guy who worked at Disney World who was a priest and he'd worked at Disney World for like 35 years. What? He it got, was a bad priest? Like, Yeah, they oh, relocated oh, him. Did, did, what? That's like, 
That's so weird. Sending a pedophile to Disney World. Oh my god! I mean, that's like sending a pedophile to the Disney, Disney World. Disney World. That's so insane. It's the worst idea ever. Yeah, the whole relocation thing. That's weird. They it's do that weird. with cops too. A lot of there's like they a do. crazy like racist cop. It's like, all right, we gotta get this guy out of here. And it's don't like, fire no, him, but let's just send him somewhere where there's not as many him. minorities. You know, like this whole thing with the. Uh, Notre Dame being burnt and people donating. I, isn't there like, I mean, how much do they raise? Like a hundred. Yeah, that's a kind of a billion dollars. Do you know, Aaron, right. how much they've raised? I've heard a, billion. a billion dollars for like. Yeah. The Catholic Church is one of the richest institutions in the world. Yeah, that's pretty. That the is, most influential. It's pretty funny. It's almost like, wow, this is real life, man. Can you, like, all the things that are going on in the world? Yeah. I don't think the church needs our money and let that fucker burn. Who cares? I know. They've got, like, yeah, they got the money. And it's like, someone tweeted something the other day about, like, just mentioned, like, Flint, Michigan or something. Yeah, I mean, there's like, oh, yeah. still, you know. And there's just so many things. There's so like, many things that need our attention and money. Did yeah. you see what Ari Shafir tweeted and it got taken yeah. down? Oh, did it get taken down? It did. It was one of my favorite tweets It was ever. about the, uh, you guys effing kids or something. Yeah, he like, said, like, he goes, I don't care if, like, the Muslims and Jews are, are the ones that burnt the church down. That place was the back setting for little boys, yeah. oh, man. you know, yeah. getting molested by priests. He says, let that fuck hut burn to the ground. Yeah. And he it called it a fuck <laughs> <laughs> He called the, the, the cathedral a fuck hut. Yeah, you know, some nasty, some Dude, just bad things bad have happened things. there, man. It's so, so fucking backwards. I can't even. That is weird, though. They're getting some money, though. So, yeah. so much money. <laughs> All the money, man. I mean, how are they going to manage that? Where, where's that money going to go? Uh, yeah, rims on the Pope Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna, he's going to have a sweeter ride. Yo, he's definitely going to have the ones that spin. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rims on the Pope Mobile. It's like, those are out. I'm the Pope. Who cares? <laughs> There's this other uh, IG account that I found from when I was like scrolling through looking at like the cathedral and the Notre Dame news on Twitter mm. where there's this uh, handle on Instagram called Preacher Sneakers. Have you heard of this? No, what's that? It's basically like, you know, all these like popular young uh, evangelical preachers mm -hmm. that are, you know, it's like that huge setting where they're like on stage and it's always a blue carpet, which I don't understand why the carpet's always blue. It is blue. a blue carpet. Right? Which represents some kind of it pureness must, or it something. It must, yes. Yeah. It's got to be some sort of like pure, it puritanical thing. It's, it's not, always It's that blue. short carpet. It's that like a little... <laughs> that it kind of looks like my Adidas jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <a> very <laughs> thin layer very of carpet. Very thin, yeah. carpet. And these, in the Instagram account, Preacher Sneakers, is all of these preachers in the picture of their sneakers and how expensive they are. <laughs> like, this yeah. dude's up there preaching the word of God in some Yeezys. Oh, wow. That's or, crazy. like, you know, like, custom Jordans or, like, the latest limited edition uh, Alexander what? Wang Adidas. Yeah. And it's basically like, oh, okay, they're preaching the word of, of the Lord, but they're running around in these, like, $1,000 sneakers. Yeah. It's a little hypocritical. I think there's a scripture about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yet no man uh, <laughs> wear Yeezys. <laughs> something. Who has... He no wear Yeezys. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it is wild, man. I don't know. I have a problem with, like, hypocrisy like we that. We could have been preachers. You ever it, think about that? Like, just because we're good at, like, talking on stage. We could like, have oh, transferred this into some kind of something. Else. I think so, too. Like, my mom said that I was, like, the poor girl's life coach. I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> really? Like, you were helping, like, other kids out. Or, like, <laughs> but not like a good life coach. She said I was the poor girl's life coach. I'm like, Thanks. <laughs> so like six broke bitches I could help. That's yeah. It. We're going to help you. We're going to change your yeah, life. Let's go gonna, to pay less, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you, um, where have you been on the road lately? You said you were staying in town for like. I haven't been anywhere lately, yeah. Where I've are you been, next? You got any other gigs coming like up? like San Antonio. Oh, you going yeah. kind of back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family doesn't live there anymore, but I like. I like San Antonio. What club is there that you play? Uh, the River Center. I mean, it's either River Center or LOL. Yeah. Look them up. They're the same place pretty much. I think one of them actually shut down now, so it's the LOL. Is it fun there? Like, do you like the the crowds in Texas? Yeah, I like it. Some people hate uh, San Antonio. The crowds, I like Texas. But I really it's a, dig it, it. Yeah. You wouldn't think because I, I kind of have the same idea about Texas as I do about Florida, where mm. they're their own country as far as the way their laws are and their people. Like, I feel like it, they're such unique people. Yeah, it's it's really different whenever I, because I was in Texas forever, and then when I moved to New York, I was like, whoa, this is crazy, you know? <laughs> like, really we're so different. So you know? freaking different. Yeah. But the audience, they're kind of smart. 
and somewhat progressive in Texas. Yeah, yeah, totally. But Especially then, you like know, Austin or something. Yeah, Austin like, for sure. Yeah. Austin was a little too like. Austin's like <laughs> we would drive down to Austin. That would be the spot because I'd be doing stand up in Dallas and we'd drive down <laughs> to Austin. And yeah, things would get very cool. Austin, Austin is weird. They let, they want to keep Austin yeah, weird. Slogan, That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I um. I was in Austin for the Moon Tower Festival. Oh, um, that's fun. Yeah, huh? that was a lot of fun. I mean, it's kind of like Mardi Gras there during their in season. It goes Just crazy, yeah. Fuckers in the street. Yeah, people drinking all people the time. People drinking bitches in high heels on cobblestone. I don't know why. We're <laughs> yeah. Don't know why we're still doing that. It'll never look good. You no. look like a drunk elephant. The heels, I don't know how people do the heels. That's tough. Drinking just, in heels. Drinking I've seen in some heels. people eat it on heels. Hell like, in yeah. San Francisco, oh my God. Why? How can you wear heels? In it was in, it, I saw her take, it was like she was falling with like three steps and then she uh, hit a tree, man. It was crazy. Just that down, but then got up like, <laughs> just because she was all drunk and stuff. But there should be like a law against girls wearing heels in San Francisco. Oh, uh, there shouldn't be. Why do they do that? Yeah, it's like no there way. should also be an Olympic sport called running in heels down Lombardi <laughs> Street. I like that. <laughs> Try and like get to the bottom without eating shit. I'm still That's very great. self-conscious about my posture. Really, I, I still don't know how to make it because you look so. You look like you're ready to to deliver the news. I wore layers too. I learned these little tricks about me bod. Yeah, layers yeah. looking good. Looking I wear good. Some layers I'm all digging the time. it for sure. Have I you? I put in some conditioner the other night. Yeah, the what? hair's looking great. I put this on and it kind of. Like, you have wild hair. I do have wild hair. You really do. It's have one wild thing hair. I've always. I, when I moved to New York, I used to not have it, but then I just stayed up there and didn't. I, I didn't go to the barber because I remember it was like really expensive. <laughs> yeah. And I remember someone thinking like, "Oh, growing out the hair," and I'm like, uh, "Yes, I am." Yeah. <laughs> and why even like? I can't imagine you with like a, like a clean cut. It'd be weird. Sometimes be I'll put on I'll, I'll put on a baseball cap and tuck it in there. You know. <laughs> Just, you ever do that? Just to like, I'm gonna go. I out. got a hat for the next episode. Yeah. So just, I can just tuck my dirt. I put these yes. on. My hair is dirty. I haven't washed it in a week. Sometimes you just want to look different. Yeah. Like, for so, like I'm like, I want to go into sky. Incognito. Like, yeah, it's weird. Do you ever get recognized out in life? Yeah. What's it like? Is it weird for you or is it awkward? It's cool. No, I I love it. I still like. It's so funny because I'm like, I love that whenever someone wants to. Hey, are you that? And I'm like, hmm, what, the, <laughs> what do you know me from? Yeah. Like, what do I know you from? I'm like, oh, I don't, you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do like, you think I'm an you know actor, me from? Man, he's like, and I'll start rolling down the credits. I mean, it could have been from this. Uh, maybe Gotham. Like, no. Um, I don't know, California case. That was yeah. it. I'm like, oh, okay. That's cool. what Marty. Let's take a picture. I know David, and you know, you know Dave. Yeah. To company, so that's where Marty. I think you and Marty were talking about me. Yeah, we. Oh man, we were talking about Californication or something. Yeah, we did the get. Oh, this is so great. Yeah. I, I can't remember where this was at. I think it was like Indian, like crackers or it something. It was. Yeah, because I couldn't be there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I got a spot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You weekend. should do that more, Drop <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I need to fill up the one. books. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember. Yeah, we were there before. I had to film something. Yeah, and we were like, I remember me and Marty were trying to figure out. We we're like. Uh, did you bring anything to sell? He's like, no. I'm like, damn, we need it. I'm like, we should sell something after these shows. <laughs> so then we went to the dollar store and we just started like, we we're like, okay, what can we buy here? <laughs> I remember I found a whoopee cushion and I was like, dude, if I put my face on here, I could be like, ah, oh, sit on my face, you know? And I bet you these things would kill, you know? But then it's like, I couldn't, we couldn't get the printer to like stick yeah, them on. Yeah, how could you get your face on? That's a genius idea. No, but it idea. would work, right? Yeah. So, but uh, we ended up getting a bunch of these little like USB uh, things and we sold that. We put our oh, sets on Oh, you put your on sets it. on <laughs> Yeah. Them. That's so, dude, that's like the comic side hustle. Oh, like, it was so that's so smart to we just did figure it that out day. how to make some merch. Yeah, it was weird. And did you sell any? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Remember we put both of our sets on there together too, so it was like a two for one thing. That's awesome. If you awesome. guys like the show, get get the whole thing. That's you know? wild. That's so funny. We probably made like fifty bucks. That's something. Like, yeah, it was good. I yeah. think I feel like with merch, like after shows, it's always better if you're like, just give what you can. 
Instead of putting like a hard price on it. Yeah, because people are less likely to take advantage of uh, of you after. Sh I feel like a, a comic they like that. Yeah. They'll be like, or like people will shame them like, go oh, give them something. Man. Yeah. And like giving them like a hard number is kind of, I don't know. It just yeah. doesn't, it feels weird I, selling shit in, in the first place. It does feel weird. But then it's like, you got to do it. Yeah, it's everyone just a part does of it. it. Yeah. T-shirts. I would sell T-shirts. And then I'm always like, like 20 bucks, which that's, that's like. That's not bad. I know, but I still feel weird, you know? Like, <laughs> oh God, like I would never buy this shit. <laughs> I can't believe I'm asking someone to buy this. I would never spend $20. But when but you do well, people want a piece of you. They do, yeah. They were like. To go home. Yeah, it's like a souvenir type yeah. thing. So, Whoopee yeah. cushions. Oh, man. I, I actually. I think Marty bought, Marty and I did that too. We were at a show. <laughs> Marty needs to get prepared. <laughs> I shit. No preparation. Marty, you need to get your shit together. We were doing shows at the house. Is it a comic strip or house of comedy in the Mall of America? House of comedy. House of comedy. Rick and Tammy. Shout out to Rick and Tammy. Um, yeah. And we didn't have any merch. And Marty and I went to like a dollar store and bought Whoopi Cushion. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's done this. We sold, yes. It's like his thing now. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. We bought whoopee cushions. And we had, like, I don't know. We just literally, he bought one of everything from the dollar store. And I'm like, what did you get? He's oh, like, my God. I find and we sold them all. Okay, that's the thing now. Dollar <laughs> store. And then, yeah. We were like, give us what you want. You know, we, we didn't have any merch left. So just get buy a whoopee cushion. That's so funny. Oh, my <laughs> and God. And I kept one. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a high tech whoopee cushion, though. Oh, is it the kind with a circle in the middle? Yeah, there? and it reloads. Yes. So you I, don't have to blow into it. You press it, and then and it, it reloads. Somehow, yeah. It's a never-ending fart God. cushion. Yeah. Who came up with that? We need to celebrate Genius. that guy. Yeah, where's you that know? guy? Stop celebrating the Kardashians. Let's celebrate the guy who made the never-ending whoopee cushion. <laughs> yeah. That's science. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is science. That's the equivalent of those like stock things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the people, the extra magazine. Exactly. A hundred percent. Who, um... Are you into the Kardashians? Did your girl watch them? She watches it. That's oh, one boy. thing I don't really get into. I kind of like know what's happening though. But like, yeah, she watched it last night. Do you have like a celebrity crush? A celebrity crush? Yeah, who's your celebrity crush? Um, who's who's like somebody you think about and you're like, oh man. It'd be cool to, I don't know. It'd be cool to like date. I, I had a dream about John Hamm last Someone night. Someone like money or something like. Who? Cool. I don't know. Someone who has money? Yeah, yeah. Kind Kate of crazy. Beckinsale? She, uh, yeah, uh, that'd be weird. You're too old for her. Thing too. I'd be like, She's uh, into 19 year olds. Yeah, I'm that's but that's interesting, huh? I don't know. Just, now I'm thinking about a celebrity crush. I'm like, I don't know. Someone you don't know. I really I, like, dug. I had a dream of John Hamm and I were at a party and I was trying to flirt and he was not having it. Oh really? Yeah, he was playing In hard the to dream? get. Yeah. What's it, up with our dreams? Not just giving it up. I man. know. Come like, on. I can't have what I like. Just let him yeah. flirt with me the hell man you know something in my subconscious like nah you don't deserve john ham you gotta get your not shit cool together. yeah not cool at all i woke up like what the fuck <laughs> Come on. why would he talk to me at that party <laughs> it's not cool it's not cool at all i got busted at a bank robbery the other night in my dream what yeah how much were you gonna get away with it was a good amount because i remember we found uh, it was like i was <laughs> i was with bonnie and clyde it was very <laughs> what? i just saw that movie the highwayman before i went to bed and it's about What's Bonnie the highway, Clyde. man? Uh, it's got like Woody Harrelson and um, Kevin Costner. It's on Netflix. Ooh, is it, it good? came out. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, I dug it. It's so weird how we're consuming movies now because I'm such a movie goer. Like uh, I love going to the movies. Oh, this one's straight up like just out there. Yeah. The, but is it in a theater? I don't know. Or if it's, is it just in Netflix? I think it might just be Netflix. That That's bizarre to me, but I enjoy it. But I still think it's bizarre. There's no like release. Yeah. Of the movie. No. And it's, you know it, what I mean? I know. It's so weird. It right? feels very, I don't know. It feels. We're skipping something. Yeah. Like, we're skipping uh, a huge, like, American tradition. Yeah. Like, God, oh, dessert already, but I haven't, you know? Right. Like, like, like I want to go out to the popcorn. I want my feet to stick to the floors. Oh, that little sticky feet. Yeah. yeah. I want to, like, I love the smell of a movie theater. Can yeah. get, like, a little finger blast in the dark. Like, I want that experience. <laughs> I want that whole movie going experience. <laughs> Finger blast in the dark while you watch Moana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. I haven't seen anyone finger blast in a, a bit. Finger blast in the dark while you watch <laughs> Moana. And it calls me. <laughs> this I know. <laughs> oh, that's another one I get to, dude from Moana. Yeah. yeah pothead. Uh, you look guy like from um, Maui. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but do you even uh, see Moana? No, dude, do you smoke weed? Yeah, dude, gotta see Moana. You gotta see Moana. 
like you don't need marijuana to enjoy it, mm. but you really but should. But like get everything high and in life, marijuana. it helps. There's so many scenes in that movie. I went with Justin Martindale. We got yeah. blasted, <laughs> and we were like this watching. We were the opening credits. <laughs> <were> like, <laughs> we lost our lamps. We were like, ah! <laughs> he said, Justin goes, if they start with Hawaiian music, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. What else would they start with? I was like, well, if they start with Bon Jovi, I'm gonna cry. Oh yeah, that would have been crazy. <laughs> we were just freaking out. There's so many scenes in that movie where if you are a little enhanced, you just are like, just pulled. Just like, oh my god, it's so awesome. amazing. It's just yeah. so beautiful to get finger blasted to. <laughs> Justin Martin. <laughs> Justin <too>. Martin. <laughs> yeah. That's like one of our favorite pastimes. We just get blasted and go see Disney movies. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> or like any sort of animated yeah, yeah. movie. There's so, I was thinking about this, like there's some new animated movie coming out. I forget what it is, but it's so well done. It doesn't look animated. Oh, that Toy Story 3, right? Yes. With the cat? With the cat. That was pretty crazy. I saw that. Yeah. It's like, well, when I, I, then I was like, why not just get a cat? Then I realized you can't really train a cat to do shit. No. Yeah. Those are, I mean, you don't see a lot of cat competitions. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that'd be tough. You can't. We saw Siegfried and Roy, and that might have been the, oh, like, yeah. the best trained cat ever. And looked how, look how that turned out. <laughs> yeah. Not so good. He's good now, right? Is he? I th- I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I guy. mean, I would Didn't be terrified. Did he recover, full recovery or something? I mean, I'm sure half of the face is missing. Ugh, yeah. There's definitely parts parts of the face missing for I sure. I hate that. I hate when I, whenever <laughs> I hate even that. a dog is about to turn on me. Like, you know how you can tell when an animal is like about, to, like a cat. Yes. Like, oh, you're about to scratch me. Like, we're. Even like, your own cat would do that. People's cats are crazy. I don't have cats. My aunt had like 18 cats, man. My aunt too. Couldn't deal with that. That's that's part of the reason I left to New York. I was having one of those moments of like, I got to get out of here, man. Were you living with her and the cat? I was, yeah. And a cat, I, I came home and I remember I had just won this Wu-Tang Clan hoodie in this contest. <laughs> and I came home and the cat pissed all over it, man. And I was like, I got to get out that of here, That is man. messed up. Oh, yeah. that cat pissed on your Wu-Tang hoodie? Pissed on Wu-Tang there, yeah. is not for the children or the cats. No, apparently not. That's yeah. rude. Nothing to fuck with. No. Like, the cat <laughs> fucked with it. 36 cat boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how I got that? I did a chess rap. It was part of Wu-Chess. A chess, chess rap? Yeah. Like the game chess? Yeah, the game chess. The RZA like, has this whole like Wu-Chess thing where it's like uh, he helps like kids... Um, play chess and stuff that's it's like cool some, yeah it's like he's a, a very really intelligent cool man yeah he and is. i remember I, I uh i it was like some youtube thing and i put a rap out there and i want it and i remember like oh this is crazy <laughs> how many years ago was that that was a Jeez, long time ago like 10 years ago 10 or 11 do you 12, think that video is still out there no no I, no i remember it's not out there anymore you sure i looked for it yeah you did yeah. oh man i would love to see that it was pretty interesting was, was it just, freestyle no, I, I pre pre wrote it. You wrote it, it so, yeah. yeah. Are I you a rapper? No, freest- I, no, but I somehow won that. <laughs> like that was just goofy. Like. And I love that the cat pissing on it was your omen to move. Yeah, like that's it. Well, and because I remember I had done stand up for diversity, or no, I hadn't done it, but like Bill Bellamy, I, I opened for him at the Improv in yeah. Dallas, and he was like, "You should go do this thing. I'll get you a spot on the show." And then um, I, I was like, "I can't do that. It's New York." But then I went. I was like, oh, I gotta go give this thing. And did you get hooked? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I went to New York and I got, I got, I got, a, I got an agent and stuff. And I got, and I was like, oh, this is the <laughs> thank you cat piss. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> thank you cat piss. The right move. <laughs> Eight cats. My my aunt Carol had five cats, three ferrets, two parrots. Oh my god. And uh, a couple other weird creatures running weird around. Weird creatures. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know what they were. I don't even think. I think they were an undiscovered species. species. <laughs> yeah. She was a colorful person. She was really, really wild and cool. My brother's got like three ferrets. Really? Yeah. They smell so they bad. They smell. Oh, my God. They smell. Yes. They're not meant to be a pet. No, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. But they're so cute. But like. They are adorable, but it's like. They yeah, they smell. just that smell. And, and then you smell and then you look creepy. Like, I don't want to be the lady who smells like ferret. No, no one wants to be that. No one's lady. marrying that lady, the yeah. ferret lady. I remember one time my aunt had her three ferrets at my grandma's house, 
And Sammy was one of the nice ones, and he was curled up on my belly, and she had Mandy, who was a bitch. Oh, and the other a, one yeah. was probably somewhere biting a hole in the wall and crapping in between the walls. I don't know where it was. <laughs> they always, it always, they always they, shit in those they places. They always shit in those weird places. Ugh. And Mandy crawled up on my lap, and I was like, oh, she's being nice. And then she crawled up here, and I'm like, oh, look. I remember being like, Mandy finally likes me. And then Mandy lunged. And what? attached herself to my neck. Oh. And I stood up and I'm... Sw- <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing is like swinging like a pendulum from my neck. I'm like, ah! ah. And I ripped her and threw her across the room. That's so very like... Fucker. <laughs> that is so fairly brothers. <laughs> <It> <laughs> like, is. Ben Stiller like, oh, God. It's exactly what it was. <laughs> it was a pure moment of panic for me. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah, it they, was really they got freaky. That, yeah, they're good at uh they got those like uh, they're, tight jaws they got, too. Yeah, they're, and they're strong. strong. They hunt. Fu- they- <laughs> Ferrets in the wild. I look at videos. Do they? Yeah, yeah. The fish was scary. hunting for my neck, that little fucker. They attach themselves to rabbits. And you're Are wearing you the ears that oh that's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They attach themselves. Yeah, to and the they rabbit? basically get a hook in there and the they, yeah, they kill it. I the didn't know gets that. Tired. Man. Yeah. That's wild. It's insane. Yeah. It's Earth Day. It is Earth Day. I just yeah. remember we were talking about animals. It's I was Earth texted Day. to tweet something about that. Yeah, I I tweeted something about like, well, what do you are you gonna have kids one day? Probably. So how do you feel about bringing your kids to like? I know zoos. Some zoos do like conservation. They have conservation mm-hmm. efforts, and they actually work with actual sanctuaries and help some. They have a rehabilitation yeah. system in play within the zoo. But how do you feel about like places like Sea World or like? Places where they have these whales and these, they still have yeah. whales and dolphins in these enclosures that are way too small. Yeah, that's like, tough. I saw that documentary too. Black, All it takes, Blackfish? yeah, a good documentary will like just change your whole. It really mind changes your stuff. whole because you see how they actually attain the animals in the wild, and it's so sad. Yeah, take away from the mom, and, and you heard her like you could hear her wail. Yes. Like, uh, I wonder if that's where the term comes from. Like, oh, man. <laughs> just ripping a whale from its mother. It's so sad, right? It is because they travel and they, they I think they call them families, like a family of whales. Yeah, whale. like a pod. A, a pod. Yeah. And, they, and it's it's a multi-generational oh, group. Man. Like, there's grandparents and, like, it's a whole, it's that like your like house a- on... Yeah. Thanksgiving, minus your oh, dad. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Maybe that's what happened to him. We got separate. The whale was supposed to meet his dad at Burger King. And then he just got separated. But, like, do you think it's got to be a hard... Bringing your kid? Like, well, you I... want your child to see cool things. Yeah. But with knowledge that we have now, I mean, is it a parent's responsibility to be like, well, maybe I shouldn't bring my kid or expose my child to SeaWorld mm-hmm. or things like that? You know what I mean? Like Maybe. I yelled at my sister for bringing her kids. But sometimes those deals are so good. <laughs> sometimes you get a Coke can or a Dr. Pepper can. It's like, oh, chip. And also it's Zero like. for 10 bucks? Come yeah. On. It's expensive having kids, so you're, yeah. you're, you're lured in by that. And also, like, to entertain your children is difficult. You know, you just want yeah. to them to watch the whale jumping and doing all that. Yeah. But no, I don't know, man. That's sad. I know. I think about that, too. It's then, fucking terrible. Sometimes they have those ones that are like zoos for like, uh, it's all the like um, creatures who can't survive on yeah. their own. I'm you know? cool with that. Yeah. Like the dol- like the, the the dolphin who's got the, the thing. Yeah. Thing. Like how oh, he'd get torn apart this guy. in the ocean. Yeah. He got yeah. like jacked up and now he can't. Yeah. You know, this is how he swims. Which even makes it a little <laughs> bit more weird. They were like, yeah. Strange, we're, gonna we're like looking at this like special catch. needs <laughs> fucking dolphin. <laughs> Yeah. What's his name? It's in Florida. A oh. dolphin tail. Disney. I think yeah, it's a Disney that's movie. Right. Yeah, Another that good one Disney to watch. Movie, yeah. Hi. Harry Connick Jr.'s in that. Oh, is he really? Yeah, he plays a dad who like runs the place and I always confuse him and Michael Bublé. You were confused? Yeah. You really? They just kind of remind me they got that same like ah uh, they, they both play <laughs> piano, right? The crooners, they're both crooners. That's what it is. They are Michael Bublé's mouth really annoys me. It's, I think oh. it's because he's English is his second language, and it's no way. What's his first language? I, I'm. I don't. That's crazy. French? Is oh. he French? Bublé? Aaron? Canadian? Canadian French? Oh. Canadian? Right? Probably. Probably. His mouth. Watch when he sings. Now you're gonna you're gonna notice it. Oh really? Kind of like like John Mayer's singing face. How that annoys me. Have you seen that? Oh, I, a lot of singing. Oh, faces I gotta. Sh- I know. I need me. to. I just have yeah. to show this to you because it's gonna change your life. John, if you Google John Mayer's singing face, it's gonna. It it'll haunt you and mm. also excite you at the same time. It's it's uh it's a. <laughs> what is? 
Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. It's, look, at this is how he, <laughs> he looks. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you guys look at that face? <laughs> Sorry, so John Mayer. The girls go wild. For. Yeah, that's the one that makes the girls go wild. That's uh, Michael Bublé's face is just. But he's doing something right. Doing something right. He's got to deal with the uh, the uh, bubbly. The bu oh, that's right. <laughs> Soda water. It's Bublé. No, it's bubbly. Bubbly. Yeah. I mean, if that's not a perfect little hookup, I don't good. know what is. I know. I mean, how much money do you need, though? I say that I now. Know. It's like, I give me more money. <laughs> I want money, man. Do you? <laughs> Don't he just want money? For, like I ah. want. I guess. I I want to be able to take care of my family and travel a lot. Yeah, take care. So I guess yeah, that's yeah. money. The whole taking care of the family. Everyone's just how do always I want to like, struggle. Yeah, I don't want to struggle. But then again, if you don't, like I said before, we were talking about like the struggle is kind of nice. Yeah, because it keeps you like yeah, it keeps you from spending too much money almost. <laughs> I just love the grind. There's something about the grind that maybe. A grind is fun. Like you right? ever you ever play a video game and you start over from the beginning and you don't have anything and you kind of like it. Like, Never. It's a grind. But that sounds fun. Uh, it is. It's kind of <laughs> like that. It's like re it's like starting over Mario. You know, you don't, or Zelda. I need a challenge. Yeah, man. Yeah. What would you do with a shitload of money though? What's the first thing you would do? What I do? Yeah. I don't know. Probably take a private jet just because I see all these comics yeah. putting up pictures of private jets. I'm Where are like, these motherfuckers going? Who? I know. I'm like, how the fuck did you get a private man? <laughs> Fucking barely got 15 minutes in a private you jet you should not if, <laughs> i know it's like, you should not be in a private jet if you don't have 15 no you gotta at least be able to headline in a private jet man if you're a feature on a private jet something is not <laughs> going like you're not taking the right path man that is so funny unless like you're on kevin hart's private jet yeah and you're riding along but if you yeah. yourself are booking a private jet and you haven't done a full headlining weekend, <laughs> you're missing like 17 steps in yeah, comedy. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you took the you're warp missing zone, like 10 man. 10 years in comedy. Got ahead. I, I don't know if I've ever flown in a private jet. Have you? No. I want a private You would know. Yeah, yeah I guess you <laughs> like would know. You like after, let me think. When did I fly I've flown in planes that were the size of private jets, but they were like <laughs> those 10-seat yeah. puddle jumpers. Oh, that was a tough. Oh that was freaky. God, it's like a like a Centro bus yes. for you know traveling in between smaller states. Yeah, so terrible. And you're landing in some dude's like backyard. <laughs> yeah, you're like in a cornfield. You're like, is this even a municipal what is airport? Happening? Yeah, <laughs> candles on the runway. Like, what? Come Just on, man. Just some old man. dude in overalls meets you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> goats. I've never yeah. been on. I think the closest, coolest plane I've been on was Air Force Two. That was. Oh, really? That's coolest. pretty cool. Yeah, it was a big plane. And Air Force Two. Was yeah. that. That's the one the vice president is in? Yeah, it's like the vice president and like, you know, different congressmen. Oh, how'd you and, get on that? Uh, USO tour. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it was cool. a lot of fun with the. Um, we were with the Joint Chiefs staff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. And like, you, you know. The seats are huge, and you can just get up, and there's like a full bar, and like what? you can sit in the cockpit. Oh, you can just chill out. Up yeah, there? like the doors just wide open. You can just sit in the cockpit and watch them take off and land. It's oh, really that cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, we got yeah. wasted on Air Force Two. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was me and then uh, man Kelly Pickler. Wilmer Valderrama. What? Do you know uh, Wilmer? No, I don't know Wilmer. He's cool. He's hey, a cool But dude. it seems like we should. I feel like yeah, all the like, Latinos and like, they try to put everyone together. Yeah, too. you guys would get along. Who should we? You're, I think he'd love you. Like, oh. He's really funny. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Milo Ventimiglia was on there too. Sean oh, White. really? Yeah, what was, was this? That's insane. It was, yeah. a, it was for the Christmas tour. That's awesome. It was the USO Christmas tour. And we all, it, that was the group of people. Sean White, his girlfriend. Uh-huh. Um, She's a lead singer of Phantom Gram, which is like one of my favorite bands. Oh, really? Isn't yeah. that cool? Like those uh, popular couples. Yeah, and stuff. You're like, I'm oh, always okay. fascinated. Yeah. I know. On this show I was on, Joanna Garcia. She was the lead actress, yeah. but then her husband is Nick Swisher. Oh, shoot. And it, yeah, it was cool. It was like, oh, that's man, pretty you cool. guys are a power couple. Yeah, like, you guys are a power couple. You guys are both talent. You look at your significant <laughs> other like, what? The, you got to bring it on. <laughs> step up your game. Learn how to play baseball. Come on. Learn how, you want your girlfriend to learn how to play baseball? <laughs> oh, man. What does your girlfriend do? 
Um, she actually she runs an online business right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, jewelry, Aqua Kiwi. Shout Aqua out. Kiwi. Yeah. That's a great name. I that love is a good name, doing right? Thing, though. Yeah. She's like you know she's a business owner. She is. She's good at Instagram and stuff like that. That's dope. She's got more followers than me. I don't even know. Aqua like. Kiwi. What kind of jewelry? I'm gonna check it's it all out. types of jewelry. Summer. Gonna, summer stuff. I want to order or seasonal. Something. That's what it is. Seasonal. How long has she been doing Aqua Kiwi? Uh, a few years now. A couple of years. I say. Do you think you guys are in for the long haul, or is it like? Yeah, probably. We've been together for like four or five years. So Ooh, Vicky. Here's something with it. No, I'm just put Christy. Out, I'm just what? Put out her Vicky. Whole, look at that. <laughs> Who's Vicky? Who the hell is Vicky, man? Aqua Kiwi. <clears throat> Let me see. Damn, I want to get on it. The closest I got to a private jet was a. I was on a Southwest flight with no one on it one time. You were? There was like five people on it. But Southwest I'm, is the fucking worst. Really? See, I like, here's why I like them. Just in case you got to cancel. They have no cancellation fees. That's nice. What you is up with cancellation back. fees? It's why? tough, especially if you're like a comic or something. You got like, you got to change You got to cancel all the time, up. dude. Yeah. 200 bucks to cancel a flight. For what? That's crazy, you're gonna man. You're going to book it again. Yeah. You're going to book the fucking thing again. Yeah. I don't understand. It is so damn expensive to travel. It's crazy. That's it why is. but that's why Southwest, it's like you get that and they don't have first class or anything, which that That's fine. Which I, I only I only get first class whenever someone else is paying for it. Right, anyway. someone else is paying or yeah. if you can like if you're traveling really far and you oh, can sort that of would be, they, like justify it like okay i've got to drink god i'm gonna have to drink a lot on this, to pay for this too. Yeah. i did that when yeah. i flew from la to lebanon oh really oh, how my. long is that flight like i'm still on it it was so <laughs> long it was so long and i was on this plane all italia yeah which literally the airline the plane is from like 1979. There was an oh, ashtray no in my armrest. <laughs> and I was like, this plane's going to crash. Yeah. This plane is going to crash. Oh, my God. And the the, the 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 TV was like this little teeny. Like, oh, don't even put a TV if you're going to give me that. Don't put a TV. Yeah. I didn't know how the plane even stayed up in the air. I was freaking out. It was like a 14-hour flight. Oh, my God. That was long flights. Was, <gasps> I went to Australia from here one time, and that was one of those flights. It was like, gosh. How did it stay up in the air for so long? Magic. That's what I think. <laughs> magic. And magic, also, man. if a plane can last for 14 hours, why do we have all these layovers? Just, just stick them us. up there, man. Yeah. Dude. What are we? I I'm convinced layovers are so we spend more money in the airport. I'm convinced Ooh, of it. Oh, interesting. There's no reason. There are plenty of people. I'm sure you've yeah. traveled where you get off the plane, and all those people get back on the connecting plane. So why couldn't we just go on weird. one fucking flight? Yeah. Well, because yeah, Panera, Panera, <laughs> they want to sell those salads. Because of Pan, yeah. Yeah. And why is a salad in a regular Panera? Eight dollars, and in an airport Panera, it's one hundred and thirty-seven dollars. It's insane, right? How much are these croutons? Even the cheap things like McDonald's, you go like, Dude. is there a dollar menu here? No, no. there's Apparently no dollar in the menu. the airport, it does not it's exist. It's so damn expensive. No, I'm convinced it's just a money trap. What I'll do sometimes though, I kind of like them. Like if it's like, cause there's not a lot of Tex-Mex out here, so if I gotta lay, <laughs> if I gotta lay over with someone with like Tex-Mex or like a water burger, I'll like stock up on it. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Totally. You have to bring your own food. I don't care. I will sit in that plane with a tuna sandwich. Oh, you want to be- see? I get a little self conscious. I'm like, I don't, I don't want people to nope. be freaking out, man. I will sit there with a tuna sandwich. I will not do gross things. Like I won't. I don't know. I'm sure you've seen some crazy stuff. I saw a man clipping his toenails. Oh god! I heard it. Before oh, I saw it. what? No, that's almost worse. Like the because you hear the clip and then you hear the. <laughs> that little, like, that toenail hitting, like, somewhere in the distance. <laughs> like, across the room. <laughs> so gross. I honestly heard it. It was like, pew. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then, like, I felt one, like, <laughs> go by me. And I was like, what the fuck? Is there a bee on this plane? <laughs> and I look back, and this grown fucking Asian man no. has his foot up like uh. this. And he's clipping, clipping, clipping his nails oh, God. with his feet just up, like basically in between my seat. And I was like, sir, no, no, absolutely not, sir. Was it Spirit Airlines? <laughs> That's the only way I'd be like, all right, spirit, this could fly here. More like Spirit with his fucking <laughs> nails. That's so Holy horrible. hell. Yeah. Those people need to be canceled. Asians? That's kind of racist, Jessica. I don't know if I can be a part of that. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> I don't know if I can get by. <laughs> I still got a little bit of pilot season. I can't be saying anything too crazy. <laughs> People 
people clip their toenails, not just Asians. Yeah. I saw a white woman doing it too. Oh, so gross. Yeah, I did. Someone, uh, anytime <laughs> you take the, the thing, it's like, just leave the sock on, man. Leave your fucking socks on yeah. the plane. Yeah. We've got to, I don't know why people get on planes and all. All of your hygiene just goes out the door. It's done. Yeah. We're taking our socks off. We're, you know, burping. We're farting. There's always a fucking fart cloud. Oh, always. How many man. fart clouds have you been stuck in on so Southwest? Every, people look at me and I'm just because <laughs> I look like a farter. I just look, oh, look at this fucking farting, man. Wow, I, I would probably blame you too. Yeah, I would do. I look like, look I, I, like yeah, it. like he's probably doing it on purpose, you know, <laughs> just to make people <laughs> laugh or something. You know? Meanwhile, it's the dude in the business suit, exactly, laying those stress farts because he hasn't slept in a week because yeah. he's got to get that progress report done. <laughs> oh, and the progress report is just coming out of his bunghole. <laughs> it's brutal. This is my yeah. PSA for all people who travel to stop being gross. Yeah, please. Come on, man. Stop clipping your nails. Little deodorant. A little know. deodorant. A little effort. Yeah, not much. Not much. Yeah. I mean, even you, you've got your back strap on. I got my back strap. Come on. You're you think I'm doing nothing, but no, it's no. okay. I got my you got back everything strap. going on. <laughs> I got, I'm going to wear my Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to wear your Spanx. You're going to be fine. Everything's yeah. going to be fine. <laughs> That's how I'm going to get busted. I'll go through TSA and they'll be like, what is this? Like, oh, no, it's my back strap. Like, you're going to need to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you imagine at TSA you get stripped down from your back strap? Oh, my God. And your Spanx. That would so happen, man. And then they, they'd be like, okay, free to go. <laughs> you're just walking through with your Spanx. Uh, just holding your yeah, shirt off, just with my Spanx and my back strap. Just all disheveled, oh, like not held up by hurts. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just picturing you shuffling through with your Spanx around your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make the flight. <laughs> oh man, where where can my fools find you? It's online, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Dustin Just underscore Ibarra. Yeah. Yes, Ibarra. Ibarra. Dustin yeah. Ibarra. You have any with a Y shows coming out? Um, what do I have coming out? Yeah, I got this movie Bits coming out. Cool. Movie Bits. It's going to be, it's a, a horror movie. <gasps> yes, I, what's it about? Can you tell us? Yeah, it's about a, it's like this video game. It's a horror movie set in like a video game world. Kind of like, um, it's kind of a haunted uh, game. Ooh, you know? that's fun. Remember yeah, it's brain really games? Cool. Or like, what was that game? What was that movie with, um, Oh, God, what was his name? That kid, like back in the 90s where he plays a video game and he kills, but it, he fought, he passes out and then he actually did it in real life. Oh no way! Do you remember that? No. Oh, it was so fun. But this sounds really interesting. Was too. that what Lawnmower Man was about? I haven't seen that. Lawnmower remember, Man had it? like that sort of. I remember there was a lack situation. of lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> I I thinking, like, a lack lawnmowers? of lawnmowers. Yeah. Yeah. So bits. Who directed it? Um. Who? Uh, uh, yeah. That guy. I'm <laughs> yeah, a fan of his. Right it's okay. Um. Let me Google it. We got Google. I, have it on my phone. I can. Okay, I can Google it. It's, it's so funny because we're I supposed wish I to go knew the hike name. at some point. I wish I knew the name of that movie. Do you remember that movie, Aaron? I don't. It was with like um, uh, Ewan, what was his name? This actor that everybody loved. Like I, I remember I used to like dry hump the side of my bed thinking about this actor back in the day. He was like <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas style. Edward Payson. Edward That's Payson. Cool. Yeah. I'm and not sure when it's coming out. It should be. That's exciting. I'm guessing, yeah, later this year. But That's yeah, awesome. Cool. Any live dates? Uh, just San Antonio right now. Uh, do you have, are you canceling any dates coming up? I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know what dates I yeah, cancel. Yeah, let me know what you drop out of. You I'll be there. Hop on. Yeah. Get man. it? Hop. Loop. Yeah. I was in Hop too. You were. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I get a little check this time oh, of year. Cool. <laughs> you were in Hop. That's yeah. awesome. That was You've so been much working, fun. man. It was fun. That was like yeah. I, that was like one of my first like big things. That's where I, like, cool. Said something. It was, crazy. it was animated, right? Yeah, but That's I got to. I was a person in it. That's so it was awesome. Cody, the mailroom clerk. <laughs> so you voiceover work, right? No, this was straight up like a live. Uh, was it live? And then yeah. they added. Oh, that's right. They added. Because the bunny was like. The bunny was yeah. CGI. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. It I'm gonna crazy. watch it. Yeah, check it out. I love it's like seeing people I know like in movies and TV shows. It fills me with happiness. Oh, I trip out seeing myself. I'll start hold. <laughs> I'll, I'll like hold my breath and stuff, and like I can't like. I was <laughs> in that. You watch yourself. You hold your breath. Man, I was in us. And I was like yeah. freaking out about that because it was a part that could have so been cut out because it was a smaller part. But I was like, oh. You freaked the fuck yeah, out. Yeah. So when I saw myself, it happened a long time ago too. So I was like, oh, what do 
I say? What do I don't look like a dumbass? Don't do, 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 don't, don't do something stupid, Dusty. I was like, okay, you made it through. Dusty, I love that your internal voice, your internal voice says Dusty. Oh yeah, I call myself Dusty all the time. Like, what are we gonna do, Dusty? <laughs> Dusty, you're a delight. Thanks for hopping on, man. Thanks for having me, Jessamay. Dustin Ibarra, everybody. Thanks. You look great. Your posture's great. Thank you. You held yourself up nice. With, 